semua nak datang pun boleh Nak datang dua orang yang terhebat pun boleh Nak datang siapa pun boleh, berarti present Hello, good morning. My name is Dinesh. So I'm going to present on behalf of uh, Group Two. So, uh, so uh, I'll start with the case summary. So we have uh, two. Uh, so this scenario happened in our ED in Yellow Zone. So we have two patients who presented to ED at the time. Uh, patient Ali, who's a 61 years old gentleman, he was admitted to rural upper GI tract when he came with the symptoms of anemia. And then uh, there's a uh, history of Molina. And there's another patient who came at the same time. His name is Mr. Ramu. He is admitted for dyspepsia and for appearing pale. So also had symptoms of anemia. And uh, blood GSH was taken from both the patients simultaneously by the same doctor uh, who's a lone functioning horseman at that point of time. All right. And then the MLT received the blood samples and suspect uh, A positive blood product to the to the to the ED team and subsequently the blood product was transfused to the patient patient Mr Ali but Mr Ali developed transmission reaction uh, within 10 minutes of transmission so this is the summary basic basic summary of the incident so this is our category of incident is a transmission error basically and the title of incident is misidentification leading to transmission error so uh, our RCA team selection will be the head of department of uh, emergency department and uh, the consultant involved uh, in charge of that day uh, uh, or, or the consultant that does not supposed to be involved in that incident and the specialist registrar medical officers and uh, any medical officers representative from the unit quality if can and familiar matron sisters staff nurse and uh, matron and, and, and MA sorry so, uh, so the gathering of information is from the pictures uh, obtained from the ED yellow zone, uh, blood taking trolley, and also interview required whereby we will be interviewing the house officer, the medical officer in charge, the staff nurse in charge, and the MLT in charge. And also we will go through the documents, the GSH, GXM forms, and the patient's BHT, and also the house officers and the staff nurse roster and also uh, every consent form, blood transition form and all the standard operating procedures that we have in the hospital. So uh, tabulation of this is the sequence. So this incident happened on 22nd of March uh, when the first when the patients uh, first came at 1 p.m. to uh, our yellow zone. So patient A is uh, Mr. Ali and Mr. R, R is Ramu who came to ED at the time, was attended by medical officer Dr. M and house officer Dr. H. And then one hour, uh, two hours later at 3 p.m., Dr. M ordered GSH for both the patients. Uh, Dr. H was the lone functional house officer at the time. He took samples for both the patients simultaneously and, uh, yeah, simultaneously. So in this, in this uh, event, there's no mention about uh, patient identification and proper labeling, labeling if the things was done correctly because he was a busy houseman uh, handling two patients with similar symptoms and uh, whether he is a theory whether he labeled the sample properly or not. Second is uh, no transmission order was made by the MO. So according to the event, Dr. M ordered for GSH and KIV for blood transmission. But uh, I think that the house officer took a GXM and transfused the blood. And another comment is, uh, yeah, so two simultaneous patients were attended at the same time with similar symptoms, so it must be very confusing for the house officer. And then, uh, so at 5 p.m., the lab, our MLT, uh, received the sample. She did the screening and cross patch and supplied two packs of A positive to patient A, who has history of Molina with symptomatic anemia, the original patient. Uh, his original blood group actually be positive. Uh, she did not uh, realize that uh, this patient had a history of transmission in the same hospital before. She did not cross-check the patient's previous history. But 
uh, she just uh, uh, trans uh, supplied the pex uh, Pexel A positive to the, uh, to the house officer. So here is a failure to check of previous blood group transmission. And one hour later, uh, one hour later, uh, there's another doctor because it's busy, busy and congested ED yellow zone. Another doctor, he's a third party. He came from another zone and uh, to help to get consent from the patient. And subsequently, Doctor H, the house officer who took the blood, he checked the sample. So there's one person taking the consent, another person uh, taking the uh, checking the samples, and staffness after doing after seeing all this. She transfused the blood, and uh, uh, this all happening despite there's no orders from the medical officer. So the comment here is uh, everything is happening uh, at the same time, but attended by different different people at different category of level. So first, uh, the uh, the first in the first place, the medical officer did not ask to transfuse blood, but the GXM was taken and blood transfused anyway. Consent was taken by another person, and there's no eyewitness. And house officer was doing a uh, checking the samples, a uh, job uh, that he's not qualified to do according to the standard oper operating procedure. And uh, last but not least is uh, the staffness also did not uh, inquire uh, or follow the SOP as she is not, uh, in, in, she's not, as she just, uh, she did not uh, double cross with her, double check with the house officer at the time. So, 10 minutes, actually uh, 30 minutes into transfusion, uh, patients uh, actually 10 minutes into transition, patients started to have a uh, uh, transition reaction. Patient did chills, right go, and uh, this was informed to the medical officer and noted that. Uh, and the patient now informing that he got history of transition and his original blood group is B positive. So the transition was stopped immediately. So the comment is like as I see mentioned uh, before this. The staffness did not inquire, inquire whether this uh, previous uh, blood donation, bl uh, blood uh, transfusion was done or not. If yes, what's your blood group? So if she had done all this, maybe she could avoid it. All right. So that's the sequence. So now the factors. Okay. So we go to first the team factor. The number one is a written communication. So here, because the ED yellow zone was very congested at the time, everything was done quickly. And the, and, and the order was given by the medical officer, take a GSH, KIV blood transfusion. It's not written in a BHT, or maybe uh, it got lost in translation, or because it's noisy and, and whatnot. So there's no proper communication. So we need a proper written communication uh, for the house officer uh, to double check whether he did a, he's doing the correct thing or not. Second is the verbal communication. So everything was done verbally. So not sure whether he heard correctly or not at the point of time. And third is uh, unclear roles and responsibility. So uh, yeah, so here is where the house officer is uh, taking a consent, uh, taking a, checking the cross match and everything, which is not supposed to do in the first place. So next, next is uh, individual and uh, individual staff factor. This one is just uh, non-compliance to standard operating procedure. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, when you're checking the blood, uh, you need to have an eyewitness in front of you, and it should be done by medical officers, and there's a proper checklist to be, to be done, to be taken, and the staffness should be there doing the uh, blood transfusion, at least for the first 10 minutes. So, uh, second is uh, unsafe behaviour as if... Uh, uh, unsafe behaviour as if in uh, the house officer did not... He just assumed that uh, the MO medical officers wants to transfuse blood. Actually, he just asked to take GSH and CIV transfusion, but he transfused. So that's one. And then the third fact, patient factor, uh, none. And then task and technology wise, <coughs> so the MLT was busy at the at the point of time when she received the GXM order. So she was receiving multiple calls at the same time, and uh, she did not notice if she would, if she would have checked that uh, this patient had previous record of blood transfusion with the B plus, B positive, she might have stopped and uh, called the house officer to inquire why there is a discrepancy in the blood group status. But uh, because the system, if the system would have alerted her that uh, the information with the, this identification card is uh, B positive before this, probably she would have noted earlier and she would have stopped everything. But unfortunately that, that didn't happen. So probably there is uh, some uh, lack of uh, alert system 
uh, in MLP. And last but not least is the ma management and organizational factor. So this one is uh, basically human resource. Um, so the description, the only working house officer uh, in ED Yellow Zone at the time uh, is only that one person, Dr. H, and uh, he's, uh, he's basically inadequate staffing. Uh, and then uh, work and environmental factor is a uh, noisy and busy surrounding this is something that we can't avoid and uh, second is inappropriate allocation of staff and a heavy workload so after I didn't say all this, uh, this uh, attributing factor so we'll go to the uh, action plan so this is uh, the summary of the uh, what I said earlier we go to the action plan so okay right so the rules of position. So the first one is the team factor. So uh, because there's miscommunication between the because there's a miscommunication between the medical officer and the house officer, so there's a different there's a different uh, plan of action carried out. And because of that, uh, wrong investigation, wrong plan carried out, and eventually it led, it led to uh, wrong uh, uh, wrong plan plan of action, which is blood transfusion which is not supposed to be done in the first place. So here there's, uh, like I said, uh, there's no written plan or verbal plan from the MO, it's not clear. So there's a lot of miscommunication happening over there. So second factor is individual factor. Uh, poor compliance of uh, standard of proce uh, operating procedure from the house officer, medical officer, up to the MLT. So all this eventually caused wrong blood being supplied to the house officer and also eventually leading to blood transfusion error. Okay, uh, and then uh, management and organize, organize, organizational factor. Uh, we only have one uh, functional houseman at that point of time. Okay. And because of that, he have to multitask all the works that have uh, been given to him. And this eventually caused him to have some, uh, to leading to some error in uh, carrying out the plan. So, uh, and last but not least is the task and technology factor whereby the MLT, failure of the MLT to check to previous blood group led to wrong blood group supply, lead to blood transfusion error. So this uh, could have been avoided in the sense that uh, there's an alert system to notify the MLT when she's filling up the system. So the root cause we have identified as this four. First is the miscommunication among the team members. Second is poor compliance to standard operating procedures, mainly maybe due to heavy workload. And third, only one house officer working, so insufficient staffing. And fourth is failure to check previous blood group record by the MLT. So our action of plan will be... Okay, so first, uh, miscommunication in the team. Uh, GXM was taken instead of GSH by the house officer. So uh, our action plan will be so uh, for next next time any uh, any um, important plans to be carried out is to be written in the in the case note or in the computer system and uh, to be to have clear or, uh, and to have clear order given and to have proper checklist before transfusing blood. So uh, so the. The, the proposition to have checklist, so we put as hierarchy as intermediate. So everyone who's involved here is uh, include actually the staff nurse, uh, matron, punjalia, and the house officers, and the medical officers as well. So uh, evidence is the checklist that we have uh, compiled uh, for transmission order and the internal memo to the department. So we, we expect it to be done from two weeks, within two weeks. So, to, to avoid another similar error. Second is poor compliance to standard operating procedure due to heavy workload. So, uh, this one, uh, we will send an internal uh, memo regarding SOP compliance uh, to, to MLT, to house officers. Uh, we will we'll do CME in multi-level, uh, maybe in MLT, in, uh, house officer level, uh, medical officers level, train and do a clinical audit. Uh, to prevent similar incident. So uh, this is intermediate and everyone who's involved is every, uh, in every level of department from HOD until the MA. So uh, how we'll do, how, how we'll gather the evidence is from the attendance list and the audience, uh, and the audit list. 
uh, and the performance pre and post in, uh, 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 of the audit. Okay, the, we expect this to be done within one month. And third is uh, only one house officer working. So this one, uh, uh, action of plan is uh, addition of staffing in semi-critical zone during peak hours. So uh, this is the short term uh, plan that we can uh, afford to do. So uh, what we can do is uh, we can uh, we can uh, create a flow chart whereby when uh, when uh, when there's a critical uh, when during the critical period of time when the ED is very congested and there's lack of manpower, uh, we can activate a protocol that uh, we have uh, with a flow chart that uh, will automatically allow other people to come and help uh, without without uh, taking too much time. So this intermediate. Uh, here, the pengarah have to be involved, including the head of department and everyone else. So here, the flow chart, we will prepare a flow chart, there will be a flow chart and a daily, there will be a daily roster and a alert system code. For example, code J. Uh, if the, if, there's an, if there is a, it's very busy, then the code will be activated and people have to follow the flow chart. So this is a temporary measurement to avoid uh, uh, busy, to, 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 to prevent uh, 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 this uh, error to be occurring. Uh. So this one we can do within one month time. And uh, last is the failure to check previous blood group. Uh, this is a uh, uh, alert system to be provided uh, to MLT and her lab system. So this is a strong whereby, uh, whereby we can suggest to upgrade the existing software or to implement a new software so that uh, there's something that can be done so that she, uh, some alert system will pop up when she's uh, cross-checking, so that to avoid that this patient, uh, to avoid mistakes from happening in the future. So this one also need uh, Pungara's help with the uh, HOD of the pathology department, matron and sister, and this might take longer time, so we put the six months. So the lesson learned from this case is a strict adherence to standard operating procedure by all the staff in the hospital. It's very important to ensure patient safety uh, and uh, safe practices and second is the need of notifying alert system in a, uh, the need of notifying alert system in a heavy worker environment it can be either in the ED department or in the ML in the lab as well all right thank you so much okay the potangan so right so okay all right so ada group-group uh, lain nak tambah apa-apa Bila Tuan Maizi nak tahu apa, kena handle kes macam ni untuk surgical Kalau nak, 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 nak tengok mana-mana ada apa-apa nak point out Jadi, because, uh, comment anything, because we learn, okay Sebab, setengah-setengahnya mungkin pernah menjana uh, laporan RCA sebelum ni Mungkin ada benda nak ditanyakan ke apa-apa ke, Doktor? Ini lagi even more daring Maksudnya <laughs> Masukkan sekali Tapi kan pengarah hospital 
Bistrik Biasanya pengarah hospital Bistrik Dia okey dengan semua Haa Betul tak kan Dr. Jamal pergi HKB kan Dr. Basil Okey je Haa macam tu kan Jadi boleh involve Provided you have a Proper discussion lah Alright So I think uh, Yang lain-lain uh, Okay uh, Maybe My versi yang lain-lain Nak tambah Okay uh, Thank you group 2 Okay Untuk yang action table uh, Saya just nak ting Check balik lah Minta uh, Group 2 Untuk check balik Untuk action plan Nombor 3 uh, Sorry Bukan nombor 3 Nombor 4 Okay, you said uh, kamu nak wujudkan satu alert system or like a notification pop up Bila there is a discrepancy kan Okay, so Kamu punya action hierarchy, kamu letak strong Semua orang agree ke? Kan, yang ini yang basically is a software enhancement kan So kalau kita tengok dekat yang action uh, hierarchy punya table Software enhancement tu ada intermediate action uh, So even though it's a technology based But you still need human punya involvement Untuk carry out the action uh, Okay, so it will fall under intermediate action eh? Okay, so action plan table lagi Okay Yang nombor satu okay. uh, Because ada miscommunication in the uh, team lah eh, Sebab minta GSH dapat GXM kan So your action plan is to make sure uh, There is a written order and checklist Order prior transfusion uh, Yang ni bukan doktor explain tadi Untuk pastikan semua arahan itu ditulis dalam kes not pesakit Ataupun dalam dihis Itu ke maksud dia? Ya yeah. Kan? Okay so Macam mana you nak carry out that thing? Adakah dengan mengeluarkan memo dalaman? Adakah dengan Arahan verbal? Ha. Produce satu checklist baru Untuk keluarkan checklist Checklist of transfusion or Before this they didn't have any checklist So okay. that's why it was just a verbal thing So everyone just gets confused and assume things lah so now every time somebody wants to transfuse, they need to see the checklist first. Uh, so they don't they don't have the checklist, so that we want to produce a checklist. Okay, right. So that it is a physical checklist, lah. Yeah. Yang kita akan tengok. Okay, right. If there is a physical checklist, then intermediate, okay, lah. Okay. Sebab kalau sekadar untuk minta orang untuk chat dekat dalam bihis, I wouldn't say it's a intermediate, lah. I would say it's a weak. Uh, sebab it's still mainly human punya human yang akan chat human yang akan tengok so most probably benda tu akan termis ok alright and then action plan nombor 2 untuk poor compliance uh, dalam action plan tu ada banyak perkara yang kita nak buat kan kita nak bagi memo dalaman kita nak buat CME training audit ok so actually kalau kita break down the action plan it would be much more clearer sebab each action plan tu could be different action hierarchy misalnya kalau kamu nak buat clinical audit ataupun kamu nak ada training session hands on then it's a intermediate tapi kalau nak sekadar mengeluarkan memo dalaman pengenalan SOP dan CME probably it's a weak action ok pasal yang lain semua so far ok Um, untuk five rules of causation Kita boleh tengok dia ada Disobey rule yang keberapa tu Kalau kita buka five rules of causation dia ha, Failure to check Previous blood group record Rules nombor berapa kalau kita ingat Lecture semalam okay, Kalau kita tengok slide ke atas Poor okay, Bawah book Poor Poor com Poor compliance to SOP Rules ke berapa? Poor Rules 2 Okay Sebenarnya group ni Dia dah dapat dah root cause Root cause dia adalah Satu Dia kata um, Tak ada protokol Ataupun contingency plan Bila tengah ada krisis human resource So root cause dia Tadi ada satu uh, 
five rules of causation dia only one houseman working in that place. So kalau kita ikut five rules causation yang sebenar, root cause root cause yang sebenar yang memang uh, group ni dapat tackle sebab dia tak ada contingency plan bila tengah ada krisis. Jadi dekat cause tu dia kena ada no protocol ataupun no contingency during human resource crisis. Okey, kalau poor compliance tadi, kalau kita relate dengan action plan dia tadi bukan poor compliance, apa sebenarnya? No checklist. Kalau relate tu kepada apa plan of action dia lah. A good thing about this group, a sequence of event dia sangat clear. Okey, bila orang yang baca tak ada kat tempat kejadian Faham apa yang terjadi Semua relevant event tu Dia tulis dengan detail dan sangat spesifik Okay Alright, thank you Hadi nak tambah apa? Ada, okay, alright Well done eh, group 2 okay, Thank you Alright Sebab semua ni buat bekerja bersama-sama So saya nampak lah, saya tak boleh nak komen banyak eh Sebab walaupun saya assisting group tu Tapi saya minimally assisting So uh, 